And here's another example of how to deal with relative velocities in linear motion. Some of us have, may, have, may have experienced this. If you're on a train, on a railroad track in a station, the train may be moving in one direction, you may be uh, walking within that train, in this case, same direction. And in the tracks right next to you, there's another train moving either in the opposite direction, same direction, here it's the same direction, with a person in that train moving in the opposite direction. And you can see the person move through the windows. And you wonder, well, the, the motion of that person seems to be kind of odd. And the question that would be, what would be the velocity of A relative to B? In other words, when B looks into this train, how fast is person A moving relative to person B when everything else is moving as well? How do you do that? Well, again, we take the velocity of A and we add that to the velocity of the train. So we have velocity of A plus the velocity of train 1. And we subtract from that the velocity of B and the velocity of train 2. Now, if the velocity is to the right, it's positive. If it's to the left, it's negative. So it would be uh, velocity of uh, B uh, plus velocity of the train 2. Now, I've still simply just wrote the equation down. Now, when we plug in the numbers, we have to take into account direction as well. So this is going to be equal to velocity A, which is to the right, 2 meters per second, plus velocity of the train would be to the right, 6 meters per second. So simply said, if B was not moving and the train that B is on was not moving, the velocity of A with respect to B, to B would simply be 8 meters per second. But because train B is, the second train is moving and observer B is moving, that of course will not be the case. So we subtract from that velocity of B, which is to the left, 1 meter per second, that makes it a minus 1 meter per second. And we add to that the velocity of the train 2, which is to the right, at 4 meters per second. And that will give us the correct conversion, in other words, the velocity of, of A with respect to observer B. So it gives us 2 plus 6 is 8, minus times the minus, that would be plus 9, and minus 4 would be 9 minus uh, uh, 4, which would be 5 meters per second. So the solution at the end is that observer A is moving to the right at 5 meters per second, according to observer B. And that's how you do a problem like that.